Hi, Hiram here. A couple of weeks ago I did a test on this Magic Heat Magic Stove that I got on eBay. Uh, two cups of water starting at 59 degrees, 15 degrees centigrade. Came to a boil in 25 minutes, 23 seconds. And I thought that was kind of a bad, pretty long. So I was wondering about this and I was looking and on the box and all the literature that I get with this, it shows kind of the same thing, except that they used large holes on the bottom so that the air could go in, and then as it heated, it would come up and out through these cross pieces that gave you space there. See that? Now, these cross pieces, like we saw in just about everything that we do, they act like huge heat sinks. The flame is coming up right in the middle there, right at the intersection, so it heats up this whole cross piece and just sucks the heat out. So I thought, okay, that looks like it would have to be like that because of the holes here. But then, if you notice, I guess this is a new format. Instead of large holes on the bottom and nothing on the top, now they make these angled slots. That the slots start almost at the bottom. This is the intersection where the can sets. See, just like so. So it goes on like that. So it's got air coming in at the bottom and the slot goes just about up to the top of the pot stand. So you don't really need, I think, you don't really need the cross pieces setting on here like that acting like huge heat sinks. Now it depends, of course, it all depends on the pot. Now see you can even see here, this is where I burned it before. See how it's hitting right in the middle in the intersection. So it would depend on what size pot you want. You know, the GSI Minimalist. Let's see, it fits on here, you know, without the cross pieces. Even something like these cups. You know, these are the ones that the, two, the two liter bottles fit in. That fits on there. So you don't need the cross pieces. Now, if you had something like the small Bargo Titanium mug, you know, the little one, yeah, that doesn't fit so hot. If you were going to do it with something like that, then I'd say you'd need the cross pieces. But for mugs, for the, uh, my Boy Scout pot, what did I do with it? Anyway, my Boy Scout pot that I use on there, I won't need the cross pieces. So I'm going to try another test today, another boil test without the cross pieces. Now I was going to use the fuel that it came with. It looked like somebody else stuck there. Uh, own label on this just so that they could sell it as Tommy's cooker same way with the box it says magic heat magic stove but then somebody stuck the label on there anyway I was going to try this because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing but I opened it up and interesting enough it's not a single uh, burner on there but a wide one focus in a nice wide as opposed to these uh, fancy heats that we get. They just have this one little tab on it that you end up spreading out a little bit. But look at the difference there. That's nice. So I can't use this one in this test. I may do a test on this just to see how well it works. But I'm going to use another one of these cans using the same size wick on there but spread out. So let me get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. I spread the wick out a little bit on this like I did the other one. Now the thing is uh, this can is a little bit little bit larger in diameter than the one it came with so this fits down rather snugly. Oh the other thing I forgot to tell you the diameter here if you want it for reference is 3.36 inches or point or 8.5 centimeters. Okay, let me light this. Okay, that's going. Put the pot stand on. Like I said, it's a little snug, so you got to kind of force it down on these. There we go. Okay, that's going. Two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees, like I said last time, it was starting at 59 degrees, came to a boil in 25 minutes, 23 seconds. Oops. 
should have started that. So let's see where it goes from here. We're now at a little over about six and a half minutes. The temperature is up to 112 degrees. Not exactly fast, but I may still just beat the other time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think you can see here through the slot a nice blue flame. My idea was that with this slot going all the way to the bottom and the top, it's getting air in here and the heat and stuff's coming out up there. So we'll see what the, t the boiling time here, but let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. 211. Come on. Well, any day now. Not exactly the fastest boiler in town. 212 at 25 minutes. Okay. Well, that was kind of disappointing. So, what we have here, let me just put this out. What we have here was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Oops, wrong button. Room temperature is 67 degrees. Humidity is at 49, 48%. Now it's going up with the boiling water here. But anyway, two cups of water, 60 degrees, came to a boil in 25 minutes. The last test, where I used the cross pieces, took 25 minutes, 23 seconds. So I, I pulled off a whole 23 seconds. That's actually the same time, as far as I'm concerned, 23 seconds. That could just be the atmosphere. Could be anything. That was kind of disappointing, though. Sitting here watching this, though, maybe part of the problem is, even though these slots are up close to the top, they're not at the top. So about the only part of the pot that got heated was that diameter. When you put these on, it lifts the pot. Come on. This doesn't fit in there great. But it, you get this space for the heat to come out and hit the bottom of your pot. So like I said, that's a little disappointing. Now, comparing it to um, Intense Outdoor Gear Stove, his all-in-one stove, this is the uh, one uses the same stuff, the fancy heat. But the pot stand is this, just a piece of flexible metal that fits on the outside of the uh, heat pot or heat can rather and just goes on like so now even though these holes aren't at the top you get space here where the heat comes out and runs all around with this one two cups of water starting at 61 degrees came to a boil in 23 minutes 23 seconds so 23 minutes to 25 minutes this is looking like it's a little bit better working than that. Now this would be great for fondues and things like that where you wanted the low flame. But if you look at the site, the literature that they have on it, they show them cooking what looks like either steak or pork, I guess steak with potatoes and green beans and stuff. I don't know. Now I know I, I will have to do, I'm sure people will ask for me to, do a test using this can that has the wider wick. Maybe that makes all the difference in the world. I mean, this is this wick is about three times as wide as the one on the fancy heat. So maybe we get some heat out of this. This might be interesting. It's got one, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Yeah, there we go. It has one little vent hole there. I might be able to enlarge that. I'm sure the stuff that's in here is the same material that's in these. If this works good, it might be nice to refill this to have the wider wick. Okay, so, hmm, didn't turn out as good as I was hoping it would, but what can you do? So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.